Good day everybody, Ducard here. Time to assemble my first ever Zier fridge or a, a pot fridge. This is an emergency fridge, doesn't require any electricity. Uh, basically consists of two terracotta pots of any shape. They need to be terracotta or clay, um, non-glaze so that they'll breathe. And uh, one pot must fit inside the other pot. They essentially, they place you place a little pot inside the big pot, place sand around the uh, underneath and around the edges. Then you um, fill up the uh, sand to basically sandcastle consistency with water, and um, the inner chamber becomes uh, cold. Apparently, these work best if you put them on a stand. So I've dug out an old stand I had. I don't know if it'll support the weight. We'll see. So I'm going to put this all together. I'll just show you in here. I've uh, plugged up the hole and put silicon in the hole there. And the same with this pot. I just put a bit of silicon in there. And I'll show you underneath. I got uh, just a cap that goes on some um, garden attachment to stop the ants getting in, but kind of fit the hole for this big pot. And I had another slightly smaller one, the little pot. So I just shoved that in there put this all looking on this should be a very uh, simple thing to build so there's all the bits and I'll get started Okay. Can I 
don't take that much weight. Well, I can't even lift it. Yes, can take the weight. I do want to sit in the middle. Okay, there we go. It's quite heavy. I don't think you'd be taking it on a barbecue or on a survival hike, unless you have a wagon. Anyway, and the reason it's on this stand is it allows the air to circulate underneath. Apparently that will have a big effect on uh, its efficiency. Though this poor stand is really quite struggling help it out a bit all right now the next step put a towel over the top of that and uh, I'll put a couple of cans of soft drink in it see how cool they get it should be quite a bit below ambient apparently at most they should reach 15 degrees though it's not really that hot around here at the moment anyway I'll put a towel on and we'll uh, check back in a while just a wet towel over the whole thing We'll check back in a while because where, where it actually uh, the uh, evaporation takes place is through the porous sides here underneath and on the side so you can cover the whole top with a towel and it's not evaporation is not really coming out of this bit it's coming out of the actual terracotta itself so i'll put the towel on and we'll check back in a few hours see how cool it is all right quite a bit of space inside of this i still haven't put the towel on just wanted to put some cans of soft drink in, see if it can keep them cool. There's heaps of room in there. Two or three chooks maybe. Apparently this little thing will keep meat for up to 14 days. So, we'll get the uh, towel on. Sort of a brownish one. Matches the terracotta. <laughs> And it's best to just keep these damp. I guess this towel also will keep the uh, bugs and other creatures from getting in to the food in the inner chamber. There we go. Okay, so here we have the completed zip fridge. It's been left to settle for a little while. Uh, what I've done down here, I put it up on a pot stand. The little wire stand that I'd put it on, which is this stand here. Well, they couldn't take the weight. It cracked, broke. So it needs to be above the ground or above the table so that the air can flow underneath it as you can see here and I've just put a can in it for a couple of days it takes a little while to cool down as you can see that is quite cool it's cool enough to drink all that needs to be done is put some water in here twice a day not too much I found out the hard way that if you put too much water in that inner pot it can float out and then you have to start all over again, which is what I had to do. So, realistically, this is version two. 
um, I put a little hole through the silicon down here so that when I've filled it a little too much the water flows up into the inside here and I know to stop filling it so uh, yeah it's a good little project it cost me about 50 bucks uh, I'll be able to keep meat in this zeer pod or zeer fridge for up to two weeks uh, maybe even keep chocolate in it for emergencies but uh, no electricity required just runs on water nice damp towel on the top I have uh, seen uh, other versions of this where this inner pot here is actually covered with uh, a terracotta lid but not having one of those at this stage oh yeah just resorting to a towel but uh, good project thanks for watching see you all later bye bye